Hi guys, good day. Um, Joseph here, the corporate mystic. Hello, hello. Um, this is just very quick, no? I just want to share my um, my reflection for, for today. Um, have you ever, or did you ever have that feeling that, um, for the matter, you're in this job and then you're not happy with your job anymore and you will say, um, maybe if I found the job or if I find the job that I... Um, really like perhaps a job that is more aligned to my course then maybe I'd be happier right or perhaps we are looking for a more greener pasture at the other side of the fence or let's say for example you're at school you took a course and then you're thinking uh, um, I'm not happy with this course maybe um, I'll just get or take another course perhaps or maybe you are in a specific household or in a specific neighborhood and um, you say that I'm not happy with this neighborhood so I think I need to transfer to a different neighborhood or perhaps you are in a relationship and you will say na I'm not happy with this relationship anymore maybe if I find someone uh, maybe a different person with a different personality then maybe I'll be happier right so we have that constant feeling or constant emotion of you know wanting to go to the next destination or finding the next person or you know we always have that mentality ba na um, things will be better if this will happen or things will be better in the future once i do this once i find this you know that that kind of stuff um truth is if we always do that we will never be happy in life you know what i'm saying um I'm not saying that it's okay to, you know, pursue a toxic relationship, that it's okay to pursue, let's say, a, a toxic neighborhood, or perhaps you pursue the course that you really don't want, or perhaps if the working environment in the office anymore is not conducive, you are not productive anymore, then, you know, you, you still stay on that specific company. No, what I'm trying to say is that, um, means that kasi nagiging addiction ito, right? So, um, this is what we call the destination addiction. Perhaps, may trabaho ka na, okay na yung sahod mo. You still find something that is bad or let's say negative in that specific working environment. And then, you know, you look for another job. Because maybe in the next job that you will go into, you will be happier, right? Or perhaps, um, you're really looking for a place to stay in. Tapos may nakita ka ng, let's say, bahay na mauupahan. Kunwari, wala ka palang, um, you know, own piece of land. So, may upahan ka ng bahay. And then, you know, kahit maganda na yung amenities, kahit okay na yung neighborhood, you will always find something that is wrong in that, you know, specific uh, place or house or anything. Now, um, truth is, if we keep on doing that, if we keep on thinking that the next event will be happier than, than this present moment right here right now then we will never be really happy in our life um ako kasi, um i have realized this when i transferred from one job to another when i transferred from one uh, community or one neighborhood to another kasi parati kaming lumilipat ng asawa ko and there has been times when you know i changed jobs um, a couple of times so Nothing really is permanent, you know. Everything is temporary. Everything is passing. Everything is is just fleeting, and everything is just an experience. Now, we have this tendency, kasi, to think that the next thing would be a better thing, where in fact we don't realize that right here, right now, this is the best moment that we ever have. This is the moment where we with where we do have a power to 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 change. And you know to be who we really are, and to exceed, to excel, and to be truly happy. Once you change jobs and you try to look back, you will realize na that previous job was not bad at all. Because kung parati natin iniisip na the next job, the next destination will be a better one. When you go to that specific job, to that specific destination, you will realize na may mali pa rin, right? you will realize na walang perfectong bagay, walang perfectong trabaho, walang perfectong kurso. Everything is just passing, everything is fleeting, and nothing is perfect. However, it is not really the event or the person or the thing that 
is the problem. Sometimes kasi yung problema tayo because of how we see things. It is our perception of the things that is the problem. It is not the situation, it's not the job, it's not the course, it's not your spouse, it's not your partner, but it's us. Really, it's us. We are the problem. So once we change our perception, once we try to enjoy the present moment, whatever we have right now, we value it, we take care of it, and we do our very best to be in that present moment, to see the good things instead of looking at the bad things. Kasi parati na tinitignan yung mga negative things, expand yan, marami ka makikita ng negative, but if you focus on the positive things, then more positive things will come to you, and you know, you will start to see the, the better side of things, right? Let's just say, for example, the grass is greener on the other side of the fence. Why not take care of the grass here so that you will enjoy this side of the fence? Now, that's a thing that we should ponder, brothers and sisters.